Hi beautiful souls, it's Angel Eleanor here and I hope that you are doing so well and having an amazing day or night wherever you are on this beautiful planet. In today's video, as the title says, why women should not wear bras. Why women don't need bras. Stop doing this, okay? And I know that this is quite a taboo subject, okay? And it is so normal for women to wear bras, right? As soon as you start actually developing your sexual organs, your reproductive system, as soon as you start going through puberty and getting to that age, it is totally normal in this Western society, right? Your carer, your parents will obviously provide you with bras when you're at that age and as you get older you just keep wearing them and obviously until you pass away. So that could be 60 years, that could be 50, 40, whatever. And that is a long, long time to actually be putting that strain and that pressure on your body and on your chest. So if this is something you want to know more about and hear about this, then just watch till the end of the video because I'm going to be talking about that right now. So in my personal experience, I stopped wearing bras at quite a young age. And the reason being is because I personally felt like it wasn't necessary. And I just want to make one thing clear, right? I completely, totally understand. I get it. If you have quite large cup size, if you have a large cup size and, you know, you feel like you have to keep them up with something, okay, but however, there are different types of bras and there are different types of side effects that you can get from wearing these bras. So I just want to put it out there first and foremost. If you have breasts, yes I'm talking to you ladies, if you have breasts which are just okay as they are, you don't feel like they need to be pushed up, like they're just naturally fine. So you could be in your 20s, your 30s, your teens, right? You don't need to wear a bra. And I'll tell you why, because one of the biggest side effects of wearing bras, believe it or not, is that you're actually putting strain and pressure on your rib cage, on your chest, in this area, and it can actually lead to restricted breathing breathing difficulties, asthma, it can also lead to pain in your shoulders, in your upper back, right, in your neck, it can lead to excess tension all around here, especially if you are, you know, wearing bras and you have quite big breasts then you're obviously going to be putting like extra, you're going to be pulling them up extra tight, right? So that is going to be very tight around your shoulders. And you probably noticed that when you take them off, you can see a mark, right, from where it has been on for that whole day. Now, you just need to keep in mind that this is putting a lot of stress on your body. And a lot of women with larger breasts actually tend to suffer with excess back pain. And if you're wearing a bra to try and pull that weight up and off, right? You want to get bras that don't have like really tight um, elastic sort of material. Like you just want to get natural bras that are just literally one material 
all the way around like you know what I mean I mean I haven't worn them for like five years so I can't really point you to any specific brands but you know what I mean um, because it just causes that excess stress and damage to your body tension to your shoulders and yeah so point two let's talk about insecurity with bras not wearing bras and all that stuff so i remember myself right when i stopped wearing a bra i was in school and i remember some girls who were very bitchy and they would be like pointing like haha look at her she is not wearing a bra oh my god like such a big deal right because these people are so conditioned and they're so hardwired to thinking that it is just normal and socially acceptable so when you're around other people usually you can see people that wear bras like you can see an outline you know you don't see their nipples poking out or whatever like that is just the norm socially acceptable cover all that up and by all means I'm not telling you to wear see-through tops that are a hundred percent transparent and you're going out like half naked nude I'm not saying that okay what I'm saying is that you need to let these be free because of what I mentioned previously and because if you don't need to push them up stop doing it it is so much more comfortable I'm telling you like it is so much easier and it's natural so you're actually just getting back to your roots like this amazing little woods that I'm here that I'm in right here with all of these roots in these beautiful trees right you are getting back to your roots as well and that is the main point as to why you should stop wearing these and you know sometimes right you can wear a top and it's a bit see-through and you know you can't really notice it that much me personally I don't mind um, but however you can get like stickers which you just stick on here to cover that up you know if that's a big problem for you you can do that but yeah after the first like few weeks to one month of actually just getting rid of that thing throwing it in the trash right donating it to charity just get rid of them and let your body be free you will feel so much more at ease and it feels great and i'm speaking from my personal experience and yeah you know i say another point let's say point three why a lot of people feel that real need right that conditioning that pressure to wear bras like you can get push-up bras i used to wear them myself right and they push your br breasts up like to here where the breasts are like out here and really they're actually here naturally and that's just nature and like when you are pushing them up so much it is not natural and because you see other people doing it you think you should do it you think it looks sexy you think it looks hot but to me what is sexy and hot and beautiful is to actually be your natural self and many many people will agree but many many people will also disagree and again that is due to conditioning that is due to your upbringing that is due to your focus social media and just being mixed in with the mass conditioning of this population so i would like to make this video specifically because if you're feeling that pressure and you know you don't really need it right after watching this video you're thinking to yourself hmm angel maybe you're right you know especially if you're young right especially if you're young then like myself you really don't need it and it is totally okay to just let your body be and let yourself be as God made you because that is exactly how 
you are supposed to be. And yeah, again, speaking from my experience as well. And I trust that this will be inspiring to you, beautiful soul. Yeah. Right now, I'm actually in a local woods, so actually quite small. I really wish that I lived closer to a forest because I love forests so, so much. And yeah, when I was sitting here before I was going to record this video, right, I was looking up and I saw a squirrel and it was so cute. It was like this small, right, and it was just walking above me, literally like one or two meters away from my head and I was up there thinking is it gonna jump on me like this squirrel was really close and I wasn't sure if it was gonna hop down or what <laughs> and that was pretty entertaining but yeah comment down below guys beautiful soul if you resonate with this if you feel like maybe you felt pressure to put pressure on yourself in that way right metaphorically but comment down below if you feel like today is the day you're gonna pull it off you're gonna get rid of it get rid of your bra stop wearing them and just try maybe one week literally try one week without it and yeah just see how it goes because i really believe that it's worth it and i think that you will prefer it as well and you know it takes some getting used to right when i went braless and i quit wearing bras at that young age i got a lot of attention from girls who were maybe jealous or you know just being plain bitchy about it and that's not nice and if you're quite young still in school um, you might get that right but don't let it affect you don't let them affect you, right? Shield yourself, stay grounded, know your divine feminine energy, your divine feminine being, your core, that is who you are. And these other people who might say things to you and make unnecessary comments, you know, just don't even give them your energy. That's my advice. If you decide to do this, Maybe you've experienced this already. Whatever the case may be, beautiful soul. Yeah, and if you're a male watching this, obviously this, I trust, doesn't apply to you. <laughs> I trust. Um, but if you want, you can share it with, like, for example, your partner, your wife. Maybe you have other people you know that may find this useful. If you're a male and you know some females, friends family whatever okay so give the video a big like and thumbs up if you enjoyed this if you feel inspired motivated and you might give this a go subscribe and hit that notification bell if you want to see more amazing videos inspirational motivational and also healing videos which i personally upload and offer to you beautiful souls and with that being said if you want to show your love and support me, I would really appreciate that. I have my Patreon in the description. You can join, get monthly benefits, and I have PayPal, all that cool stuff. If you'd like to book a session with myself, I have my website in the description as well. So with that being said, beautiful soul, I will see you in the next video. So enjoy the rest of your day. God bless you. And just remember that you are perfect. You are God's child. And embrace your divine feminine nature. Okay. Have a beautiful day and bye-bye.